what's going on guys I'm looking at a stock that has potentially found a little bit of a short-term bottom um kind of a low risk type of trade especially for all of you swing traders out there I'm going to kind of go over AMD's chart. What we're looking at here is the daily time frame. Now, if you kind of notice on the chart, we've had three days where we're holding this bottom of the range. If we just kind of go back to the left and kind of see exactly what's happened ever since we broke this top channel here, putting this nice green, you know, kind of just monster elephant candle here, uh, going back to the 16th of March. We did have a slight run up all the way to a price of around 102 currently have pulled back for the past four trading weeks now to a price of $86. So what I kind of want to show you guys here is that if you look at this and notice this indecision candle here that we had, once we hit this upper Bollinger band started to pull back into the five and 10 day moving averages, we started to just drastically decline and lose the 20 day moving average came down to the linear regression channel came down to the 50 now have come down to the 100 EMA as well as the 200 EMA, right? So if you kind of look at what we're doing now, it's been three days since we've made a new low. This is a two-sided trade, again, depending on if you trade more to the long side or you're just a day trader looking for a scalp in either direction. What I wanna kind of point out here is that if we start to lose this bottom channel here of around $83.75, this is a no-brainer, no, absolute no-brainer short position. We'd be looking to cover somewhere in the $80 to $81 range. So you're looking at potentially a $152, $250, even potentially $3 move, depending on where you get this at. Again, if you're looking for that move, what you wanna actually play is a rejection of some of the upper supply zones to kind of come back through that wave. So if we do get into the 8850s or the $89 area, look to short here at this upper supply and then use that high of day price as your stop loss. So what that means is that if we do come up and tag those areas and then we start to decline, take your short position, right? And then use that high of day as your stop loss. If we do bust through it and then start to tread towards 90, you will already be out of the trade and you will only risk cents to potentially make dollars. If you kind of look at you know where potentially we could be heading if we do uh break down this you know 200 and 100 ema we could be coming down to 80 dollars. and if you're snagging this at the 87 88 dollar range you're looking at a seven eight point move if you want to play it a little bit more safe and you're looking for that confirmation of the actual breakdown again 83 84 dollars is what we need to see broken down i would give it around 83 50s below that you got one to two dollars in that trade now if you're looking to trade to the long side because you believe that the market is going to continue to bounce again all trading is all technical analysis is is using the information that's in front of us pushing your risk to the middle of the table and then managing that risk due to the outcome you have no control over the if the stock is going up or down we could get one headline that moves the market higher we could get one headline that moves the market lower all you know is where potentially we could be heading based on supply and demand and then manage that risk accordingly if it goes against you and if it goes in your favor make sure to always lock in profits especially if you're a short-term trader we, again we cannot sit here with a investor's mindset but call ourselves day traders what that means is sometimes i see on social media shorter term day traders or scalpers they get into a trade they think it's going up 10 15 20 dollars from entry right you are not an investor you are looking to just take a small piece of the pie a dollar here two dollars there three dollars there those are good great trades especially if you're trading options especially if you're sized appropriately but again just because something bounces doesn't mean that it's going to continue to bounce tomorrow just because something washes out doesn't mean that it's going to be another two or three month down cycle you have to be you know kind of observant of what's going on in the market so if you are someone who is looking to trade long you do have an easy stop loss here below 83.50. If you wanna give it a little bit more risk to the, to the round and even dollar, use $83 as a stop. As of right now, that's a $3 risk. But again, I'm speaking more towards swing traders. So yes, if a $3 risk is a lot to you on a swing trade, then size down, right? If normally you trade 10 lots, you know, or, or which is a thousand shares, trade 500. If you trade 500 shares, trade 250. If you're a one lot trader where you're trading, you know, 100 shares at a time, maybe trade 40, trade 50, right? So if you do lose two or three dollars, or if you do lose three dollars on 100 shares, it's only $300 worth of loss. Is that really that going to be detrimental to your account if you do take a $300 loss for a potential three or $600 win? 
kind of have to weigh you know the the pros and cons if that's still a little bit too much too much risk for you trading 50 shares and you lose three dollars it's 150 dollars loss if you can't manage to lose $150 on a potential trade, then you need to take a back step, build up that account more, get another uh, second job, pick up a side hustle, start selling things around your house, do whatever it is that you need to do so that you can be able to afford to take a trade with $150 stop loss, right? So with that kind of being said and taken into place, 8350 is your short, right? If we do lose and close below that area, 8350, we will be targeting $80 in the next 78. Those would be the levels. If we're looking to bounce this, we're gonna use $83 as our stop. If we get a daily candle close below $80, we're gonna get stopped out. We're gonna lose a cup of coffee on it, but what we are going to try to target is 86, 88, and then $91 if the market does wanna to continue to rip and bounce. Today, the NASDAQ uh, 100 is very, very strong, trading 267 points higher on the day, thanks to Meta's earnings up 30 points on the day sessions. Microsoft also blew out earnings up another seven points, trading at 302. The, the Triple Q's ETF is up six and a half points on the day. Amazon following behind Apple looking very, very strong after Apple looked like death yesterday. So again, kind of keep AMD in mind. If you guys would like to learn how to trade my way of supply and demand and my strategies, make sure to join evolutiontraders.com. You're going to get access to the Discord community. You're going to get access to my watch list. You're going to get access to trading with me each and every single day live. We can do recaps. We can do technical analysis, breakdowns. We can do psychological kind of trainings and conditionings to kind of get you guys ready to trade the markets on a day in and day out basis. Regardless if you trade futures or you trade commodities or you trade stocks or you trade options, it does not really matter. Trading is trading. It's all a bunch of bars and lines on a chart. You have to learn how to control those emotions. You have to learn how to read the charts. You have to learn how to be disciplined. A lot of people and a lot of traders are just looking for the easy answer to get rich quick. Although you can make money super, super fast, you can also lose money super, super fast. And if you don't understand how to put the proper risk on the table and manage yourself and your emotions accordingly, and you're just buying because someone on Twitter says, hey, I think this stock is going to the moon, you're an absolute fool. So with that being said, do not be a fool. Learn how to trade correctly. Again, as retail traders, as we all are, we're not trying to trade like institutions. We're not trying to trade like banks. All we are trying to do is be realistic and be on the right side of the probability. Again, if you understand that trading is a probability-based business, you will make money in the long term. It's all about keeping the lights on. It is not about trying to make as much money as you can today. It's about trying to make small increments and continue to grow that account over time, just like an investor is going to do by putting a large sum of cash into one particular stock or a portfolio of stocks. All we are looking to do as short-term traders is just take a little piece of the pie here, 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 and keep growing that account on a day in and day out basis. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Join evolutiontraders.com. If you guys cannot invest in yourself, you are trying to take the easy road out. It's like someone trying to lose weight on a diet. Someone can tell you what to eat so you can understand that you need to work out. But if you don't actually put in the work and invest in yourself to buy the right foods or to, to go train on a day in and day out basis, you will not lose weight. It's the same with trading. You can look at all of this information online and take someone's trade ideas and say that, you know, that well, someone told me to buy Tesla here, but I, I lost a bunch of money. You can do all of that, but if you don't understand and invest in yourself and have the education to do it on your own and work with other traders who are actually trading the same strategy as you, someone can tell me to buy Tesla at $100, but if I have no idea what they're using strategy wise, I am going to get absolutely ran over. Trade the same system as the people that you are following or the people that you are trading with. Your life will be a lot easier. I will see you guys all in the next video. Take care. Happy trading. Good luck.